and Peaches, welcome to Preview, where friends don't let friends watch television alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And today we're going to react, review, uh, and at the end we're going to read episode four of season one of Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel. We have one occupant, well, two occupants, but one of them everyone's paying attention to and kind of forgetting about the first one, <laughs> and Angel Dust is getting a little bit like, um, hey, I thought I was... No, okay. Yeah, but also your attitude, Angel, has not been, you know. He's not getting with the program. Yeah. And I think that's that's the that's the thing he's missing right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, we're getting a little bit more information about Angel Dust's relationships with people. And uh, they are putting it mildly toxic. Yeah. And also, this is the fourth episode. The episode probably everyone was waiting for us to watch. We don't know why. They did say, hey, guys, there is some subject matter in this episode that... Maybe yeah, you should just heads up. We don't yeah. know what it is. Just there that's is just something. General trigger warning for this one. We're not totally sure what we're walking into because that's kind of the nature of what we do. But just heads up. Heads up. There might be something triggering in this episode, but we are looking forward to it very much. So hey, but if you like this full edited reaction, want to watch our full unedited reaction from beginning to end, soup to nuts, all the burps, farts, and uninteresting parts. If you want to watch this show with all of the musical glory that uh, it contains within. And <laughs> without all of the trickery we have to do in order to put it on the internet and use it as fair use, yes. check out our link to our Patreon. It's all there, you guys. Uh, everything we've ever done. Some stuff we didn't even put on YouTube. Arcane, Peacemaker, check it out. Or don't. I am not your mom. I'm looking at you. Patricia? Patricia. Find your, your mother is in another castle, Patricia. All right, here we go. Yes, I'll just have to fuck the information out of you. Oh, you know, this performance won me a sex, sex, sexy award. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Why would you? Why? You said it was you? show and tell day. You show and tell day. There and act like these scripts ain't hot garbage. <gasps> Fuck you. This is classy art. <laughs> Insecure buffoon whose lonely ass watches you at his sleep. And Nifty, yeah, you don't even want to know what her deal is. <laughs> well, but now I really want to know. Well, uh, looks like Bell needs me for an uh, emergency shoot. Angel, you can't leave. Oh, I didn't really notice that Husk has such a beautiful tail. <laughs> Ugh, why is this so hard? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Maybe you can, I don't know, command a little more. Yeah, authority. flex on him. But that's so yeah. mean. <laughs> it's uh, aggressive kindness. Yeah. Okay. That, that's how I would describe you. Aggressively <laughs> kind. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, do, never, please, never. Never mistake my kindness for weakness. Ever. I never do. I, uh, do you really expect me to memorize this? Oh, they got him in his head. So, what are you gonna do to him? Charlie! Huh. <laughs> where the magic happens. Oh, wow, that is, <gasps> that is a lot. What is the fucking hold up? I, uh, coming. Not off camera, you're not. Please. But I saw that. Oh, crap. Also coming. Damn it. Damn it. What can I do for such a... Ah, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> you don't want to roll, He's also you? a spider. Don't hurt me with those big guns of yours. Don't move, you spicy little... <laughs> <lip>. <laughs> the boom. The boom. The boom. <laughs> This is it only look close to home. Boom operator! <laughs> Maybe I can pitch some scenarios that are more hopeful. Oh no. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. I am so sorry. I ruined your movie. I ruined your movie. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is he a moth? Or a butterfly? A hell butterfly. I didn't know. Yeah. 
You think she can get you out of work? No, no, that, that, that's not what I'm trying to do. I... Yeah. You know she can't do anything. I own you, or have you forgotten that? When I say come, you say... Yes, Valentino. When I say you are fucking 20 guys before lunch, you say... Yes, Valentino. The yeah, axe dropping. Just don't hurt her. I have killed uh, uh, bitches for less than this attitude you're giving me. You're lucky you make me money. This guy's gotta go. Oh, very much so. I already asked you to leave and you didn't listen. You made things worse. He's got a black eye. That's why one of his eyes is black. I didn't... Well, I mean, he's literally got a black... Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I should have known it when I looked in your red hot eyes, spewing all your red hot lies. Yeah. Cause I know you're poison, you're feeding me poison. Addicted to this feeling I can't help but swallow. Oh, oh, oh. anyway, you want me, baby. That's the way you got me. I'll be my story's gonna end with me dead from your poison. Far beyond it, fair call to resist another gulp. Your poison, I made my choice in. Every night I'm wasted like there's no tomorrow. It's a bop. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tragic bop. My glass, but it's always hollow, full of poison. I'm sick of the poison. Wish I had something to live for tomorrow. I mean, yeah, that was a really good song. And also, oh my god. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think I'm ready for Charlie to go on the offensive. Yeah. And he, my friend, you say you don't always understand musicals. Herein lies, herein lies the power of musical theater. <laughs> that song encapsulated the, the, the vibe of that mm -hmm. better than anything else could have. Because the subject matter is tragic and the circumstances are tragic. But... The fact that, that that song was so alluring and so fun mm -hmm. and so interesting while while having the underlying <sighs> very well done show. You can cut the act already. It's never going to work on me. So all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, motherfucker. The dots are other eyes. Oh, very good. Fuck you. Have fun being a lonely piece of shit. Oh, the hell? Angel, where are you going? Ow! Sounds like someone should go after him. Someone named Husk. Oh, you gotta be fucking... Charlie could also go. <laughs> no. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go write 100 apology letters and a lesson plan for tomorrow about <laughs> boundaries. <laughs> All right, Leslie. I guess we'll see you next episode. <laughs> good, good lord. <laughs> Welcome to Hell, Pawnee. <laughs> now I really need to know how she turned out so cheerful. I really needed or a Charlie origin story. I meant the whole bottle, jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I. S oh, what to say? Is that a mimic? <laughs> Doll and bring me another one. What's well, her long? Get him! <laughs> Seriously. Oh, that's a roofie. Let's go. What the Cheese it! Hey, 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 hey. You just let people drug you all the time? You think I ask for it? I don't ask for any of this shit. Because I just saw someone self destructing. It seems like, I don't know, you might need a bartender to talk to. <laughs> Cut the act. It's not an act. It's who I need to be. And this, this is my escape. If I can ruin myself enough in the process, if I end up broken, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. And maybe he'll let me go. I 
was an overlord once, you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? So when you're down on your luck, you turn to anything to keep you afloat. Even making deals yourself. Oh. So things look bad and <laughs> your back's against the wall. You're a loser, baby, a loser, goddamn baby, you're a fucked up little whiny bitch. <laughs> Only one star reviews, you're a power <laughs> bottom at rock bottom, but you got company. I love his tail. I sold my soul to a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and you think that makes you <laughs> unique? Get out of here, man. <laughs> I got an appetite for gambling. I got an appetite for sampling every drug and sex toy I can find. Go ahead. I got no holes left to the flower. I sold my soul to save my power. Eat shit together, things will end up differently. There he is! What? They're fucking singing! Get him! Jesus! Oh! oh. This should have been the nose? Good lord. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Yeah, man. Shoot him in all the things. You don't know me. Sex ain't the only thing I'm good at. Good to know. Because this guy ain't half bad. Oh. I know. Why <laughs> she writes the walling crayon. <laughs> ever, Charlie, ever. it's fine. I get it. Thanks for caring about me. Oh. <laughs> I think this is yours. Okay, Missy. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> he, he said he forgave me. <laughs> oh, that's our girl. How about that, Drake? <laughs> you read my mind. Hey, that was great! <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> yes, it was. That was a lot. It's gonna be okay, everybody. I'll be honest, like, I have a lot of hang-ups with, like, just the general conceit of this show from time to time, and that's just, my, you know, a lot of my own stuff, but, like, it's, when you really look at this actual show and really realize what it is, it's just like, hey, everyone's got their own stuff, and we can help each other through it, mm -hmm. and I think that's a very... Yeah, I wasn't expecting this show to, like, actually mean something to me, but it, it does. Where's the best place to set the most hopeful person in existence? <laughs> in the least hopeful place. <laughs> uh, I understand why uh, he just wants to watch this fail. Because it's good TV. Yeah. Which <laughs> good he hates. radio in yeah. this circumstance. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a, a, quite a personal journey for Angel Dust in this one. But the fact that we got more lore about everything now. Yeah, Husk was an overlord. Okay, whoa, cool. But lost most of his power because he well, gambled that's why too he, much. I mean, yeah. yeah, and that's why he's there because he mm -hmm. goes radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, more background lore, but also good, like a lot of very. And then what they needed to do, like, hey, this episode's twenty-two minutes. We have to go. Yes. So we, like, yeah, this is okay. We're just gonna focus on Angel, Angel Dust, and a little bit of Husk. But like, we need to get Angel Dust over a, a hump here. Yeah. Over a hurdle. Um, other choice of words probably wasn't the best choice of words. Or was it the right choice? <laughs> mm. um, to like, you know, to kind of like get with the program and like finally put down his walls and let somebody help. Because that clearly like now he's, he's Team Charlie now. Which is we need more people to kind of like start hurry up and getting with the program because like the clock is ticking and yeah. everyone's going to die soon. Okay, so we're halfway through. We're ha so we are now halfway through. Stuff's going to start happening, I think. Like It seems like. In like the major... Mm -hmm. The only thing we don't know right now... Not that stuff's not happening, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, like, the, the, the larger story, mm -hmm. you know, moving forward. We don't know what Vaggie's deal is. Yeah. I mean, we know she's with Charlie, but, like, we don't know... We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. How that started, what's, why do you, you know... Why, why do you is she, owe, yeah. owe her? Yeah, why is she with her? Because um, she is, like, she's ride or die. How, but yes. how did that happen? And we also don't know how Charlie is. 
how is Charlie? Why is Charlie? Because, like, <laughs> clearly some like, what... She's the daughter of, of Lucifer? How is she the most cheerful person in existence? Uh, yeah, how does that happen? How does that happen? When you don't... When there's no reward in, in this realm for that. Yeah. That's a very good way of putting it, yeah. Yeah, it's, in, that, de it's that... in defiance of every aspect of your being. Mm -hmm. And then Poison Song was a bop. It was a bop, but... A... Yeah, but... <sighs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Jay, how would you rate episode four of season one of Has Been Hotel? Whew. Um, this one is getting... This one's getting ten out of ten. Uh, folks in your corner. You're not alone. You may think you are, but you're not. <sighs> Sorry, this episode just really... Yeah, it's okay. Huh. There was a lot. There was, was a lot. lot. Okay. Explain okay. dice. Explain <laughs> dice. <laughs> Let's just go shoot some sharks until they're good. <laughs> All right. You're not alone. You do not. Well, how would you guys rate this episode? Let us know in the comments below. But before you do, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that, YouTube. That you do so well. Guacamole's extra, you Helsing and weirdos, you. Ah, uh, the video's popping up right here. Ah. Please watch this. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.